This is a high dynamic range, or HDR, imaging tutorial for GIMP that uses a much easier method than the one previously detailed in one of my other tutorials. We only need the minus and plus exposure brackets for this. Now, to review in case you don't understand HDR, the way it works is we have a high contrast scene where part of the image is too bright and or part of the image is too dark, and we want to pull the detail back into those areas. The way we do this is by taking photographs on a tripod so that they are perfectly aligned with one another, using our bracketing function on the camera or our knowledge of how to use a camera in full manual mode to do the bracketing manually, we take multiple exposures and then we mix those exposures to drop the contrast and restore detail. In this case I have a night photograph taken in the middle of a road. I have a sign that can't be read and in fact I will zoom in 100 percent to show you the sign is unreadable. We have a minus one step exposure, minus one stop. We have a plus one stop exposure. This was automatically generated using the camera's bracketing capabilities. So with a minus and plus one, we can see the minus has the sign, but there's a lot of darkness surrounding everything. And we can see that the plus has nothing on the sign, but a lot more detail, a lot more trees, a lot more grass the road, we can see all kinds of things that in the lowest one we can't. And of course the center exposure is already kind of a visual mix of the two, but it should be fairly obvious that, for example, if you look at the trees, that the brighter exposure has much better detail on them, while the darker exposure has the sign text that is completely invisible in the other two. This is why we want to do this with this particular scene. If we mix them with HDR techniques, then we can see more stuff and it just looks better. So to get started, we need to rearrange these layers. I'm going to go ahead and delete the center exposure because we don't need it. This one is low and the bottom one is high, so let's flip that. We need the brightest on top and the darkest on bottom. Right click the bright exposure and add layer mask. You'll need to make it a grayscale copy of the layer. And I'm sorry, the menus do scroll off screen. I have a much larger screen than what I'm recording. This doesn't look any better. If anything, it looks far worse. But that's because we have to invert the mask because we're trying to make the bright areas fall through. So invert, and suddenly everything's better. No, that's not the end of the tutorial though. Yes, everything does look better. And in fact, if I disable the mask, and then re-enable it, you can see it does look better overall because now you can read the sign, but the contrast is too low. Everything looks a bit more sickly than it did before. And this could be a situation where this particular set of images just is such a high contrast that when you mix them together, they get kind of muddy and yucky. And that's okay, we can adjust that. Some images won't have this problem, but this one does, so let's cover it. With the layer mask selected, there is a white box, you can see it over here, and it should be around the mask. With the mask selected, we need to colors, levels, and in this levels box, do you see this middle? Well, you can push the midtones of the mask around. Notice the effect that it has. If you pull it all the way to the left, which I don't recommend pulling all the way, but if you pull it all the way to the left, it makes things brighter. If you pull it all the way to the right, it makes things darker. Notice that all the way to the right looks almost as bad as it did before. But if you pull it further to the left, I'm not going to go all the way because I don't want there to be any mathematical imprecision that causes a problem. But I'll go to this marker and hit OK. And in general, I would say that this image looks better, just for reference so that you can decide if you agree, before, after. I especially like the fact that the road here, I think the street lights and the contrast in the areas between street lights is a pretty powerful thing. So I'm very happy if I can keep that contrast where the obvious glow of the lights on the road has bands between it that are dark. Again, before, notice how it's pretty dim 
and after. The effect of the street lights is intensified by the contrast here, but in the most extreme areas, we still have the detail. We still have the trees, for example, before and after. Notice the trees aren't really affected because the way that the mask works is the brighter an area is in the overly bright exposure, the more of the dark is allowed to come through it and mix together with it. So the trees already being quite dark means that they're not going to be affected. So we get the nice brightened trees and the nice darkened sign all in one image, which is the entire point of high dynamic range imaging. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Also, please look in the description. You can find other video channels of mine. You can find other video hosts that I'm on. And if this has helped you, I would appreciate it if you could toss me a small financial donation to continue supporting my work. All the links for all of that stuff are in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.